good thing about drinking water in Canada when it's sub-zero, you get free ice cubes. After leaving Jasper National Park, we joined Highway 93, more commonly known as the Icefields Parkway. The day started off beautifully and we were greeted with a dazzling display of the Rocky Mountains all around us. Unfortunately, it also came true to its name. As the road reached higher into the mountains, we arrived at the Columbia Icefields. It was here that a bitterly cold wind blew off the glacier and turned the road into a bobsleigh track. Every turn of the wheel, or acceleration or brake felt like the car could skid and slip at any moment. Gripping tightly to the wheel, we slowed down and crept our way through the valley, praying for it to be over. Thankfully, after a few hours, we made it down onto the far side and breathed a sigh of relief, although the day was far from over. That night, we experienced the coldest temperatures we'd had the whole trip, and we had to take some drastic measures to prevent ourselves and the van from freezing. Black eyes. Ah. Ah. Hey, hey. Uh, coming up to lap number two. Ooh, we've got a bit of talk on that one. Lap number three. If you're wondering why I'm driving around in small circles at nine o'clock at night, it's because it's minus 15 degrees out there and I'm very, very afraid that our engine is going to freeze overnight. Look at that mountain up there. You are here, visit the sea. So we're going to continue up there. Go have a look at Lake Louise. Hike up to the glacier. So Matt is putting a plaster on his cut because his cut is weeping and that moisture from his cut is sticking to the inside of his gloves because it's so cold. I'm sliding. Matt sliding. the sunburn. So we started right down at the lakeside. We followed the trail up through the snow to where we are now, which is kind of at the base of that glacier up there on top of that rock. And this morning there was a big old avalanche coming down there, so we're not going to hang around here too much. Time to head back down the mountain. Maybe we're going to actually do this first. She's like, oh, but, and she was like, oh, by the way, like, kind of like, you know, some people. Like, You're going to have to know all of this. How's the washing going, Matthew? 
that's how it's going. Without showing you too much, that's also how it's going. Everything is in here. If you take a closer look, that is the beginning of November. Oh, Clean pain. shaves like a baby. It's pain. <laughs> Same here, but um, I'm not going to grow any hair this month because I've never really grown facial hair. So we'll see what happens. Look at that thing, just trembling. <laughs> God, I never thought a material could hold so much cold in it. We are here in Canmore and we've come to do the Halling Peak, which is just up there. It was a $15 entry to the Bow Valley and Kanasakis Provincial Parks, I believe, which is a bit irritating, but it's just got to be done. So we're going to be doing a steep scramble up, probably some more snow and ice as usual. We are on the eastern side of the Rocky Mountains still. Uh, we are in Alberta and hopefully we're going to have a good day. If you're wondering why I've taken a decade off of my face, it's because I am actually going to be doing Movember. I had to do a horrible shaving session in a public swimming pool using just the head of a razor to tackle my thick beard, but it's to raise awareness for men's mental health. So there we go. You're going to see a moustache approaching in the next few weeks. We've got some ruthless switchbacks bringing us up to the peak and it's always encouraging when you're hiking through an avalanche zone. Shouldn't be out, it's out of breath. So tired I think with all the slipping on the ice you know. Because like every time I put my foot down it slips off again. Just like walking so much further. And these switchbacks, I hate these switchbacks. So we made it to the Halling summit. Down behind me is Canmore, and we are basically looking at the Rocky Mountains. There's an incredible view up here. It was a rough hike, steep, lots of ice, but as you can see, a pretty rewarding finish. It was a mixed one. Didn't enjoy it too much at the start. Horrible trail at the beginning, super icy, and we didn't really enjoy it up until we got past the tree line. But the views from the top were absolutely fantastic, right? Amazing. It was, you could see all over the Rocky Mountains, and it was probably our first our proper summit. One thing I did get a bit tired of is people keep telling us we have the wrong equipment. And I know we don't have crampons. I know we need gaiters. It's frustrating for us as well. But if you just wait until you have all the equipment and you're going to be spending thousands before you ever go on any adventure. And that's just not how we like to do it. You've seen us here. We try and do as much as we can with what we can. And we don't wait until we have spent loads of money on all these things we don't need. And look, we made it to the top, made it back. Sure, we'd like the better equipment, but... Yes, it's icy. Yes, it's snowy. Maybe it takes us longer. Maybe we're more at risk, but it's definitely doable. And we want to just do as many adventures as we can with what we've got. So that's the way it is.
quick food check on what we've got left. We've got our deep brown Heinz beans, which we both dislike with a passion. We've got one more of our chili star, which is definitely the best. Real miscellaneous item, which you have chosen, Chef Boyardee beefaroni. I'm very excited about that. And then we've got some parmesan. We've got some other bits as well. Chili bars, bread, pasta, salami. Do we ask Browns for a dollar, you rascal? It's Tim Hortons coffee. 189, it's the same as you get if you're actually going to Tim Hortons though, which is surely better than that 7-Eleven coffee. No? What did you go for the premium? I don't know. The one on the left or the right? I didn't go dark blend. I went dark blend. It's a bold strategy card, let's see if it pays off. Well, I don't think it did pay off. I don't think it will, that's too strong for us. For you. Very strong for me. I'm chucked in a load of cream. And it's the first time I've ever used a sugar dispensing machine. Well, you haven't been using that at the other thing. No, I just use sachets. Even mine's strong with two cream and sugar. Oh, good morning. Yeah. Oh, we are in Banff, about to do the Tunnel Mountain Trail. We are at the lower car park because the upper car park was closed. We've got to go up to 1,692 meters. It's about just over four kilometers. Should be a nice sunrise hike. Beautiful. Let's go. in Banff, just down there as you can see, so we're in close proximity to the town. We, so we woke up at 6, we started the hike at about 7. It's probably the best morning hike you can do if you visit Banff. Yeah. So we're here in Banff, and we're going to drive up to Johnson Canyon and hike up to the ink pots. And after that we're going to come up here into Yoho National Park where the Burgess Shale is up here hike up to Emerald Lake, then probably we're gonna come back down through Kusine National Park and to Radium Hot Springs, which is there. peanut butter. It's like eating a Snickers, let me say. With, with the Nutella. With the just left Lake Louise this morning and it snowed overnight so there was a layer of snow on the roads which is pretty scary we hate driving in snow we're trying to avoid it as much as possible but we are going to do the Stanley Glacier hike this morning which is about 11 or 12 kilometers 650 meter ascent up to the glacier and we're getting ready for winter gear basically I feel like this combination of the toe socks with merino on the outside tucked into long johns. That's my winter gear. Alright, some snacks for the hike. What have we got here? Chewy bar, Nutri-Grain for James. Probably some peanut butter sandwiches. There you go, do you want those too? Yeah, thank you.
face you. Carve that out. You can even see the lip on the inside. been off-roading for the last 15 to 20 minutes possibly half an hour but we now think we've found the loop backwards 